Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Wen. Today, we discuss trigonometry. Here is the definition for f of x. It is equal to sine of x times pi over 4. We want to find the sum of f of 1 plus f of 2 plus plus until f of 2022. Totally, we have 2022 items here. We want to find the sum. f of x equals sine of x times pi divided by 4. Sine is a periodic function. The period for sine of x, the smallest possible period is 2 pi. That means the inside part equals 2 pi. Solve this equation, we find x equals 8. What does this mean? 8 is the period, the smallest possible period for this function. f of x equals sine of x times pi divided by 4, not the sine of x. We do know sine of x, the period is 2 pi. 8 is the period of sine of x times pi over 4. What does this mean? Period. That means after 8, those function values are repeating. Are repeating. Just to check the sum of first eight items. Plug in, you will see that's sine pi over four, sine two pi over four, sine three pi over four, sine four pi over four, and so on. Last one is sine eight pi over four. Those angles are special angles. We know those values. Sine pi over four, that's square root of two over two. Sine of two pi over four, which is the sine of half pi, which is one. Sine of three pi over four, it's also equal to square root of two over two. Sine of four pi over four, that's sine of pi, that's zero. Sine of five pi over four, it is in the third quadrant. So that's a negative square root of two over two sine of six pi over four, which is sine of three pi over four. That's three pi over two, sorry. That's the negative one. Sine of seven pi over four, this is in the fourth quadrant. That's the negative square root of two over two. Sine of eight pi over four, which is sine of two pi. That's zero. Simplify, we got this result, zero. What does this mean? Sum of first eight consecutive terms equal to zero. Because the period for this function is eight, we have this result. The sum of any eight consecutive terms equal to zero. This one, we start from one. We can start from two. Then the ending is f of nine. Or we can start from three. And it is 10. Whatever you, you are counting from beginning to the end, from end to the beginning, or from middle to the right, from the middle to the left. Any term, the sum of any consecutive terms equal to zero. This is our conclusion. It is important to simplify this. So here, totally how many items here? We have 2022. We can cut 2022 items into sub sums, each with eight consecutive terms. 
So here, how many? Eight inside of 2022. That's 252. The remainder is six. So here, we group those items into subgroups, each one with eight items. We count the backwards from 2022, the end to the left. Eight, one group, second eight group, then the remaining six item will be the six items from very beginning, which is f of one, f of two, until f of six. This is based on this result. The sum of any eight consecutive terms equal to zero. So we are counting backwards from the end to the front because the remainder is six, we have six here. So here we can calculate this result directly. For example, this is a sign of one pi over four, sign of two pi over four, three pi over four until six pi over four. Those are special angles. You can plug in numbers to simplify to get the answer. Here, I'm using this one. I'm adding two items, f of seven, f of eight here here, and this is additional. We need to remove minus f of seven, minus f of eight. Then group the first eight. We know that the first eight equals one, zero. You don't have to do anything. We know this part equals zero. Then we only need to calculate the last two. So the last two is ne negative sign of seven pi over four negative sign eight pi over four. Seven pi over four is in the fourth quadrant, which is a negative. Negative, negative cancel, that's positive. And eight pi over four, that's two pi. Sign two pi, that's zero. So the final answer is square root of two over two. This is the answer for the sum, the question. So here is the summary. The summation of f of one, f of two until f of 2022 equals square root of two over two. That's all. Thanks for watching and see you next time.